Hello friends, so today I'm going to take you through a full body de-stress stretch sequence. This is my first day of filming in the home gym, so please excuse me unexpected noises or anything, and also please excuse the fact that I'm absolutely drenched in sweat, in sweat, in sweat, in sweat. I just filmed a full body dumbbell blast which killed me off, and I'm drenched, so I thought I'd film this stretch afterwards. Alright, let's jump in, take yourself into a cross-legged position. Oh, so, from this cross-legged position, I want you to take your left hand, place it underneath your boudet, and pop your right hand up your head, and just gently feel that stretch coming into the neck here, pulling on top of the head, pulling the head sideways, find those tight spots in your neck and shoulder. Into your chest. 
So I'll pull that knee into the chest, and here, just give me a few circles into that hip joint. Okay, so circle the knee around. Now stop, circle the ankle. Three, two, one, and pull the knee across the body and look over your right shoulder. This is going to be stretching through your back and your core, your spine, opening up through the spine. And also, you might get this glute as well, the top glute, things tight. Got this, guys. Now come back to centre. You're just going to quickly stretch out that glute. So you're going to place the right hand on the left knee. You're going to reach through, grab the front of the shin or the back of the thigh, depending on your flexibility, and make sure you sit all the way back and your head is resting on the ground. Oh my god, this is so tight for me today. Woo! Breathe in. Breathe into it. Wow. Embrace that stretch. See if you can pull that knee a centimetre closer to your chest. Deep breaths. Good. You're going to come up to seated. Now you're going to place that right leg, working all the right leg right now, next to you like so. Now we're going to be focused on stretching through the top quad. Depending on how flexible you are, you can either come back to here, and if that feels like enough, that's fine with me. If you feel like you want to take that stretch even deeper, come all the way down to the ground, and just feel that stretch through the front of the thigh into the hip, and just lay here. I really love this stretch. Just lay here, or stay here for about 15 seconds. On each out breath, we're relaxing the tension in the muscles. Come on. Five seconds. Three, two, one. You're going to come up, you're going to untuck the foot, and you're going to lay back down. We're going to repeat all of those stretches on the opposite side. So you're going to pull your left knee oh, into your chest. So I'm just drawing all kinds of tight here. Oh, did you hear my hip click just then? Goodness me. And you are going to give me circles with the knee. Good. This is a really nice stretching routine to help de-stress, to help release muscle tension. A really nice stretch routine to just take care of yourself, take some time for yourself. Slow down. Switch to those ankle circles. Good, nice big circles both directions. And then pull that knee across to the right hand side, look over your left shoulder. You might get a little click in your spine. Embrace that click, I love a little click. Figure four glute stretch. Rest here. Deep breaths. Make sure your neck and the back of your head is on the ground. Relax back. This might be really, really tight for you. It's often a very tight spot for a lot of people. Just take some deep breaths. And on each out breath, try and release that tension in the bent leg. Okay? The one that's the four. Got this, guys. Ten more seconds here. Four, three, two, and one. Come to seated. 
You're gonna extend the right leg, bend the left leg. We're gonna go into that quad stretch. So whether you're here or you're all the way down to the ground, whatever position is comfortable for you, just make sure you're feeling a little bit of a pull through that thigh. And just lay back, take deep breaths and relax. Here, guys and we're going to move into properly working into those hips and deeper into the lower body in five four three two and one you're going to come up and you're going to bring yourself to a kneeling position so from this kneeling position we are going to take our right leg forward so we're going to have two right angles at our knees from here squeeze the back glute Close the bum cheek, push that left hip forward. Feel the stretch in the front of the left hip. If this is a deep enough stretch, just stay here. If you want to extend it, you can bring your left hand up and over. Now you can stay here, there's also the option, if you've got the flexibility and you feel a little bit spicy, to grab the back leg and pull the heel up towards the glute, or as close to your glute as you can. If you can join me here, please do. And then make sure you're still squeezing that left glute, pushing that left hip forward. And you're going to be simultaneously stretching your hip and your quad. Good, guys. <clears throat> Three, two, and one. So you're going to take your left hand down to the ground, right hand on your right knee, and you're just going to give me some circles. Give me some circles with that knee opening up into the hip. I'm going to get really deep into that glute now, and I can tell this is going to be so tight for me today. So what we're going to do is place both hands inside the front foot. And from here, we're going to put the opposite elbow down to the ground and we're going to attempt to put the same elbow down to the ground. Just hang out as low down here as you can. If you can't do both hands, just do one. But just get your chest as low as possible and really feel that stretch pulling into this bent legs, glute and hamstring, okay? Hold it here. Hold it for three, for two, for one. Both hands on the ground, push up. You're gonna bring that right foot forward and across into a pigeon pose. Try and keep your hips square to the floor. You're just gonna drop yourself down as low as you can, whether it's up here on your elbows or forehead to the ground. You're just gonna drop down and feel that stretch in the front glute. Nice guys, hold it here. For five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we're going to repeat all of those stretches on the opposite side. So just come into a downward facing dog for me. Walk those calves and those heels towards the ground. And we're just going to bring the left leg forward, right foot back, come into that half kneeling position. And from here, we're going to be squeezing the back glute. So we're going to squeeze the right glute, squeeze, push the hip forwards. Oh, this is tight for me today. And just feel into that stretch through the front of the hip. Again, if you want to extend it, hand up and over. Now there's the option here to grab the back foot, try and pull the heel as close towards the glute as you can. Again, squeezing the glute, squeezing and pushing the hip forwards. 
and the stretch is going to extend right down into your quads. Shoulders back, neck relaxed. Deep breaths here. For four, for three, for two, and for one. Okay, from here, right hand down to the ground, left hand on the knee, give me those nice big circles that are on the opposite side. Nice big deep circles. Good. Now, let's go into that runner's lunge. So both hands on the inside of the foot. I'm going to try and take the opposite elbow to the ground first, and then try and take the same side elbow to the ground. This is going to be a deep, 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 deep stretch. So just go as low as is comfortable for you. You're going to have to hold this for about 15 more seconds, okay? Deep breaths. Oh, this is tense, but it's good. Give me five, four, three, two, push up. You're going to bring that foot across the body, go into a pigeon pose. I mean, obviously the dream is for your foot to be up here, but I'm just not that flexible. So do the best pigeon pose that you can do. And then come down as low as you can, whether it's your forearms, your forehead to the ground, up from your palms, whatever feels comfortable to you. Deep breaths here. Sink deeper, hips square. You've got this guys, hold it here. The birds are singing so loudly today, I hope you can hear them. Three, two, and one. We're going to come up to an all fours position, okay? So in this all fours position, we're just going to start with some cat cows and flowing between them. So drop your belly button towards the ground, push your booty up, head towards the sky, shoulders back and down, and then push away from the ground, rounding your back as much as you can. Feel that stretch through your upper and mid back, and release back down. And from here, we're just going to go into our own flow, circle between them. Find those tight spots. I love doing this, just opening up through my core, through my spine. Flow, find those tight spots, release them. For four, three, two, and one. Come back to center. From here, you're going to take your right leg back, left leg forward, and we're just going to release through the hips and lats. Nice guys, hold it here. Make sure you're really feeling that on the front of this hip and up the lat on this arm. For three, two, and one, switch sides. You're gonna get a little view of the boot here, sorry about that. Hold it here. back to centre, you're going to drop your hips down to the ground, you're going to go for an upward dog, from here just look over your right shoulder towards your right heel, drop the left hip to the ground, left shoulder, look over to the left heel, drop the right hip to the ground, come back to centre and just alternate between those three positions, okay? Your wrists. 
Hold it here. Give me some circles around those wrists, just small, small, tiny, tiny circles to help ease that tension. Tiny, tiny. Keep going here, guys. Change direction. And place those hands in front of you. From here, knees wide, toes together, sit back, child's pose. Really try and consciously push those shoulder blades towards the ground. Feel that stretch through your lats. We're doing a lot of lat stretches today. Feels good. From here, walk those feet further back. Keep the hands where they are. We're just going to do an elevated child's pose. This is going to take a bit of a deeper stretch into those lats. Stay here with me, guys. All right, we're going to work into our inner thighs just for a minute. So, I'm going to face you. You're going to place your knees as wide as you can and then make sure your feet are parallel to your knees. Okay, so you don't want your feet tucked in like so, you want your feet out to the side. You're going to sit your bum back, feel that tension coming into your inner thighs and then sit down onto your forearms and hold it here. This is a really tight stretch. We're really trying to push those knees out as far as you can and just breathe into it.
five, four, three, two, and one. Come back down to sitting for me. And I just want to say thank you so much for joining me for this de-stress full body stretch. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, just let me know by hitting thumbs up. I'd love to hear from you, leave me a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.